so tomorrow is a very important day for all the bsc third year students who are appearing in the jam exam because tomorrow is the jam exam and uh, let me give you some advices what you have to do and what you don't have to do during the exam in order to get a good rank or in order to achieve your maximum uh, marks in the exam right so uh, this video is basically about all that things that uh, which things can give you better result and which things you shouldn't do to avoid mistakes so the point number one which is very simple is that it is a online based exam you have to sit in front of a computer and uh, the exam is online so i guess this is the first time in your life you are writing some online exam uh, so that's why it is very important you should know all the rules how you have to attempt the uh, exam paper so that is the first thing now in this regard the two very important things are you have to know how to use the virtual calculator because many people don't know how to use it and i personally uh, faced a lot of problems during my exam during my jam exam so uh, practice with the virtual calculator before the exam uh, this is one thing the next thing is that every time you answer a question you have to press the save and next button it is very important let me tell you uh, an example that how people do mistakes so you know the gate exam was in the last saturday and one of my friend he attempted almost 40 questions but he forgot to press the save and next button he just answered one question and then went to the next question and that's why when the exam was over he uh, he uh, he was very much like he felt very sorry that he didn't save any answer and he just saw that only 10 questions were answered by him so this is very bad thing you will feel regret about yourself so don't do this always uh, whenever you are answering a question if you are sure about the answer always press the save and next button and if you want to uh, see it later then press the uh, answered and marked for review this option you can also do so this is very important point right now the third point which is very important is always whenever you are answering a question uh, read that question very carefully because uh, i am telling you the questions will be very easy if you are preparing well the questions will be very easy to you so don't think about the question will be difficult that things you don't have to uh, worry about the question will be easy but you have to look at the question very carefully you have to read the question very carefully because let me tell you one example uh, in the gate exam paper there was a question like this this molecule was given here let's say you have hydrogen here you have chlorine here you have chlorine here you have hydrogen okay and you have to tell whether it is optically active or not now uh, many people got confused with this they didn't look at the molecule carefully even me I didn't look at the molecule carefully whenever I uh, looked I, uh, I have seen this type of molecule I thought it was aline right so in the aline system if you have this type of structure they should be optically active right and although it is not aline when you have three double bonds fused it becomes a planar in the aline it is not planar but it becomes a planar so uh, I didn't looked at the molecule carefully and I did the mistake I thought it is aline and it is optically inactive so these mistakes uh, occurs several times with many students uh, if you have all the knowledge you know everything but just you don't read the question carefully and you do the mistake another example is that there was a complex uh, for example any metal and uh, there were so the formula of the complex is su such that it has n number of let's say it has six nh three ligands and three bromine ligands right bromide ligands and you have to predict the uh, formula or the uh, structure of uh, yeah formula of the uh, complex now the data was given like the molecule or the complex was treated with agno3 and uh, a specific amount of precipitate of agbr was obtained so from that first you have to calculate uh, 
पार फॉर पार यूनिट ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स दैट इज फॉर वन कॉम्प्लेक्स हाउ मेनी नंबर ऑफ ब्रोमिन एटम्स इज गेट प्रिसिपिटेटेड एंड आई कैलकुलेटेड इट इज टू राइट सो इफ इट इज टू दैट मीन्स ओनली एमोंग दिस थ्री टू ब्रोमिन एटम्स आर आउटसाइड ऑफ द कोऑर्डिनेशन स्पीयर सो द स्ट्रक्चर शुड बी एम एन एच थ्री होल फाइव बी आर एंड आउटसाइड इट विल बी बी आर टू बिकॉज द ब्रोमिन एटम्स विच आर आउटसाइड दैट विल ओनली बी प्रेसिपिटेटेड नाउ देर वॉज ऑप्शन लाइक दिस ऑल्सो एम एन एच थ्री होल फोर बी सॉरी होल या होल फोर बी आर टू एंड आउटसाइड इट वॉज बी आर सो आई Uh, I was in rush and I uh, marked this as correct answer. So I did the mistake. So this question can also come in the JAM exam. In this case, you don't have to uh, calculate the thing. You just uh, they will just tell you that uh, two or three uh, bromine atoms are precipitated. So but you have to careful while choosing the answer. So this is another important point. And other points are like. Whenever you are solving a NAT type question, numerical answer type question, uh, in some cases the answer will come in negative, right? And in that case, you have to put the negative value. People in the rush, in the exam hall, they are in the rush. They have lot of uh, headache. They have lot of pressure of exam, and they put the exam. Uh, uh, also, they uh, uh, although they got the answer in negative. but whenever they are putting it in the um, in the answer paper they put it in positive value and they get negative marks for that i also did it uh, during my jam exam so uh, for this thing you have to be very careful and uh, other things are like uh, so the first thing is you should be cool be patient and uh, don't uh, don't take yourself into pressure so this is very important and uh, read the question carefully so these are the things so and another thing is uh, first try to solve that questions which you are sure that i will do it i can do it and uh, you are confident about that because that will give you boost for solving other questions you, which you cannot do and another thing is that don't uh, guess for a particular question for uh, what i am trying to say is that uh, always do the questions which you are sure right if you uh, just randomly put ticks then what will happen is that uh, you will get lot of negative marks and that will reduce uh, that will reduce your rank so this is very important uh, don't try to uh, try to see what is your luck so luck is not important here it is uh, the wise decision making which is important here so that's the important points and uh, that's the thing uh, i hope that this video will help you and best of luck for your exam rocket